buddy Martin here, back with uh, another Vintage Doomsday match. Um, I've won the dice roll, so let's choose to be on the play. And yeah, I think we keep this hand. It's uh, we'd like one of these. Uh, we would like one of these tropical islands to be an underground sea in order to be able to cast the Thoughtseize. But uh, I think having a turn one force and mental misstep, as well as being able to brainstorm I'm gonna wait with the brainstorm though but uh, yeah that's pretty good <clears throat> all right so opponent keeps seven and let's uh, see what we're up against Lotus now do you ever uh, counter a Lotus I guess you do sometimes um, So I think they are likely to have Moxen in their hand that they're waiting to play out before casting the Monastery Mentor. I think we probably need to, to force this, and I'm going to pitch Mental Misstep. Oh, they had the land? That's weird. Mm, yeah, that's fine. So looking at our hand, they likely think we're on some sort of gush tendrils list, which I guess in all fairness, we probably, well, we are, but uh, you know, let's see. I'm really hoping they don't have a misstep for this brainstorm. Because our hand is kind of nothing right now. Preordain. Yeah, I'm just thinking if I should be brainstorming in response to find a mental misstep of my own, but nah, it doesn't seem to be worth it, I think. Maybe if they were, well actually, probably for sure if they were casting uh, uh, Ancestral Recall here. Right, so they bought them both of their cards, and like what they saw. So we drew the underground sea. I think we play it and thought sees them. Because I really don't see that we can afford to have this brainstorm mental misstep. Interesting. Alright, so they have a plow. We need to be aware of that when they. If we go off, it would be a doomsday and lab man. And they have Jace. They have Misty and Trop. We're going to take the dig through time, which is clearly their best card here. I mean, Baby Jace is not bad, but uh, he comes with Summoning Sickness tacked onto him, and I guess, like, eventually they'll they'll get to... Probably not eventually, like, next turn they'll get to flashback dig through time, so maybe... Yeah, this delays it for a turn. All right, I think now would be a great turn to draw Ancestral Recall. <laughs> there you go. Draw our own Dig Through Time, which we can't quite cast yet, but we can brainstorm and have a fetch land. Woof! Great day in the morning. So. The Augment Swell and the Dig Through Time kind of uh, like work against each other. All right, so now their hand is sourced to Plowshares and Tropical Island and a, a, an Unknown. Next turn they can. Uh, next turn they can loot with Jace. And cycle probably actually their draw their source of plowshares maybe their land and then they get Jace flipped and they can give predict through time flashback so that's a really good play for them so how do we want to try and counter that <clears throat> 
I'm thinking we only need one of these lands and we need the we want it to be the delta. And then probably the tendrils, even though like having the tendrils with the augments as well is kinda nice. Would mean that we didn't need to um, find it and could potentially go for like a Yarmouth's Will Tendrils loop. Okay, these are really strong magic cards, but like if we can get to go Gush, sorry, Demonic Tutor for Fast Bond and then Gush. Then I think we just win. We have a second gush in hand. So we're gonna draw the gush to not show them. Actually, that's stupid. We should have drawn the demonic tutor because they're gonna see that next turn, no matter what. And then the gush would have been unknown. Okay, so they loot with Jace. We're we're gonna let um, the dig through time resolve here. Although that is a really scary card to have resolve against you, but you know, like we don't really have an alternative. We're gonna gush into car known cards. Let's just hope they can. Like the good thing is they don't appear to be on black, so that. They can't like mess with our hand. So hopefully, we don't get to go too nuts with uh, with this dig through time, whatever they find with it. Being like probably the worst they could find would be like time walk, and like if they had drawn a mox, and then like find time walk mentor. Maybe, but that's not even that scary, because I guess, like, we don't want them to, f to have found, uh, what's it, what's it called, uh, Force of Will? And there's the Mox. Yeah, it always happens, that always seems to happen when my opponent, uh, digs through, through time, find their time walk. Double blue, they gush, sure. Okay, this is looking decidedly difficult now for us. They plus Jace, which doesn't do anything here. We're gonna let the Ponder resolve. We just wanna fight their mental misstep on our fast pond, I think. If we get that far. Red mana, so what, Dak Faden? Probably, yeah. Sure. I would guess they loot themselves here twice, yeah. Alright, good news here is that they only have the green mana untapped, at least for the time being. So, like, Pyroblast and Flusterstorm are off the table. Would seem a bit unlikely that they haven't drawn like Force of Will here. Still in library, sure. Okay. So, what to do here? So, a thing would be to tap Black Black Underground Seas here, and then, or Black Blue rather. I guess it doesn't matter. Then gush with those, uh, with those two mana floating. Replay one of the lands, and then cast a monitor tutor with the two mana, and then be able to dig through time in response to a force of will. That kind of means we won't be able to then both cast a monitor tutor and uh, get fast bond and cast it, but. Yeah, I can, maybe we will because whatever Dig Through Time finds us, but I actually kind of like that.
Come on, click. There we go. You only have three cards in hand. Uh, well, that was somewhat unspectacular. Okay, so they let this resolve. Maybe they just didn't find the force. What's our game plan here if they force this? Oh, they don't. Sweet. All right, I think that just means we win. Let's pass priority here um, and just play out some lands. Let's float mana. Gush. Fastbound Gush is just like so insanely powerful. Mm. Yeah, we can afford to go through this life here. Let's cast Yarmouth's Will. Uh, let's tap for black, tap for blue, tap for blue. I guess we didn't need to tap all the lands. Let's gush from the graveyard. There's the lotus. Now it's just academical. We float some black mana. Again, I don't need to float everything, that's stupid. But uh, let's just gush. Draw another gush. Replay these lands. Tap for some blue, gush again, even though we have, now we can just demonic tutor for the tendrils. There's a thought seize, so let's thought seize them. Ah, oh, okay, well they drew pretty poorly. Um, let's get the tendrils and just kill them. Sweet. So I guess this is what's called Sylvan Mentor, right? The Sylvan Library. Indicating that. So they have a green splash for Sylvan Library, which is pretty cool. I've had... I mean, it's limited in the fact that I've only played like maybe four or five matches against Mentor but with this list. But I've had... Like, I think, I think I've think i won like all of them. Like, I think I've won them like three or four matches. And I have sideboarded nothing. Because, like, I don't think I want to bring in the Flash Hulk package. Maybe if I lose game two, then maybe, like, to throw them a curveball for game three, but I'm not sure. Could bring in, like, Engineered Explosives to have, like, a catch all for whatever they might be bringing in. I'm not really sure. Also, they don't. I don't think I ever showed them Doomsday or the, um,. For the lab man, so I don't think they know necessarily this is a doomsday deck. But th that doesn't probably matter that much. But it might mean that they are siding out all of their removal. Probably they are. It's a little bit of a boon, but like hate cards that come in against Storm have a tendency to overlap against Doomsday, so So I actually just like not boarding anything here. So let's see how that where that takes us. Wow. Yeah. This is like a turn one. With force backup. I hope they don't probe me here. I don't want them to see what's coming and plan for it. Wow, I've drawn kind of hot here. Let's see if we can close the deal, as they say. Sure, ponder. That seems like more or less the best that we could hope our opponent uh, could do here. Let's just hope they don't drop a sapphire, because I don't want them to have uh, access to Flusterstorm. They choose not to shuffle. All right, cool. I think we just go for it here. We are going to uh, doomsday, uh, doomsday off the Lotus, and then we're going to probe into Ancestral Recall, cast it off the Underground, see we fetch out first. Um, 
drawing Lotus. So like recall is the first card. Then we draw Lotus, Lab Man, Probe, probing into another probe, probing for the win. I think that's the best we can hope for. Is there an alternative? Can we go like probe into Lab Man? So we're probing to recall, recall into Lotus, Sapphire, no, no, I think it has to be that way. So we're dead to double force of will, we're dead to force of will and mental misstep. Potentially not dead dead, but not looking too hot. But I, th I think we go for it here. We could also, if they choose to, if they have a counterspell here, like force, we could choose to fluster storm. But that would tap our land. But then we have both fluster storm and force backup. And then we would just have to wait a turn. But let's take the Lotus here. If they let Doomsday resolve. We take the recall. We take the lab man. And then double probe. So wait, we'll be at nine after this. We probe at seven. We need to be able to force down to six and then double probe down to two. So that's still fine. Um, all right, so I'm only running three probes. So this actually only just about gets there. Um, so let's make it probe at the bottom, probe second from bottom, then Lotus Lab Man Recall. So we have to decide if they misstep us here, do we then crack off the force, snap off the force here, or do we fluster storm? I think we force because in any case we're only like the force if we fluster now the force is just a dead card in our hand and like this forcing uh, leaves open a mana and lets us continue so if they also have force for this we can't do anything but if they have force for this I mean we're still sort of live to just win next turn unless they do something I'm worried that they have force now, actually. Whoa. Okay, so I th that just pretty much means they win. Right? There's nothing we can do here. Because they can just always force of will the lab man. So this is Storm 5. So what we could do is... So the, the last cards in our deck are Lotus, Lab Man, Double Probe. So let's say we... We Vampiric Tutor on their turn. And they force it? Well, why would they? That's... That also takes us off the ability to probe for the win. I think we're, we've lost here. I'm just trying to work out if there's any way we can not lose. Um... Well, we could try at least, like... We need to get them to burn off that force. That's for sure. thing is like 
next turn they can play like let's say they force this so we draw probe Yeah, well, we've lost a just force the lab man. But let's make them do that. They could also like be worried that we have la uh like a like a force of will in hand on this. Yeah. They're going forward. Man, wish I had like unearth but let's concede. Now I actually do feel like bringing in the flash combo because it beats uh, Mind Break Trap. I mean, it's not impossible for us to beat like multiple counter spells with uh, with just the Doomsday package. But let's see here how this looks if we bring in the my uh, the. This this whole flash package. Uh, so we bring out a couple of doomsdays. We actually probably need to bring out the whole doomsday package. Um, I guess the problem with this is that now they saw lab man, so now they were like more likely to bring back in their creature rule, which kind of disenergizes with the lab man with the flash hulk. So this might be a complete mistake. But let's see. So we whoops, bring out a little the lab man. Uh I guess bring out the dark ritual, even though that kinda of works well with the the tendril skill. Need to cut three more cards. This feels like a bit of a mistake, honestly. The 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 flash hulk, but now I just feel like trying it out. To be honest, do we cut the tendrils as well, and just be a completely lean one win condition deck? Yeah, maybe actually. I guess that means cutting the fast bond as well. We can cut a gush. I keep in Yarkmouth's Will because you can always like value Yarkmouth's Will recycle like uh, Ancestral Recall or whatever and stuff so yeah this is pretty good keep this two cantrips in the Force of Will kind of like that if we so we're going to start off with the Ponder and if we have that misstep do we misstep back? Not really sure. So yeah, with the flash hall com combo, we need to find uh, the flash, obviously, and then uh, protein hulk. They keep sieved as well. Let's play out the underground sea. Uh, I don't think I'm in the market for that much permission with the stuff I already have in hand, so yeah, that's throwing the preordains better. Sure. This is annoying because they're seeing the body snatcher. And if they're vintage savvy, they probably are able to piece together what that means. But yeah, so be it. We could have misstepped it, but I'd rather save the misstep for like a more, what I would deem a more relevant spell. Like either their misstep on one of our spells or the pre, like a, like a recall obviously, or like another payoff card. Drop, 
sure. We're not gonna misstep this. Feels like a bait card, but could be wrong. They bottom and top and pass the turn. Okay. There's the protein hulk, so now we only have to find the flash. Let's get under and C and let's preordain. Mm. Let's bottom the guide and draw the thought seize and then let's thought seize them. Okay, so they have, let's see here, probe, mentor, mind break trap, gush, ruby, delta, tundra, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we don't care about their mind break trap, at least sort of for the time being. We don't care about the probe. I mean, gush is a good card. Uh... The rest is just mana, so I think we're going to take the Mentor, buy ourselves some time. There's the Delta. I guess they probably probe us here. Almost feel like misstepping this, but let's not. So I guess we just really want to draw the flash, but that aside, like a tutor. And we need to just hope they don't draw into gas here. I don't think you play out the gush at this time if you're them. All right, we're gonna pre in here. Even though that leaves us with only the mental misstep to pitch to force. Wow. We just drew a land and then two more lands. So we're going to bottom both of those. And that is not very good for us now. We play out the land even though that was one of the cards they didn't know about. Just because we might need the mana. So I can see them gushing here actually. Or maybe Dak? No, no. They're gushing, I think. Yeah, floating mana gushing. Uh, we're going to let that happen. Maybe that was wrong. <laughs> ooh, ooh, library's good. They have to discard the hand size. They discard a land, which they... Yeah. So I think actually we're gonna dig through time here. You could argue for us to do it on their turn, but they... Yeah, no, I want to be able to do something here. So they draw with dig through oh with the library. Oh pyroblast so bad. But we have mental misstep. They could have a misstep as well. If so, we don't have we can't force here. Yeah, and they have the misstep, so alright, well too bad. At least that is a pyroblast that's not going to a potential flash. But we're in a lot of trouble here if the library makes this like really hard for us and we're just not drawing anything I'm gonna play out the mock sapphire 
So wait, how does this work? Enters the battlefield, you have to discard a card. So we could actually play this out, discard a protein hulk, and have, just have a 2-2 two -two beater. They're at 12. That seems a bit ridiculous, but... I actually am going to do it. Like, it doesn't really cost us anything on the combo front. We don't need the body snatcher unless we draw into, like, but even then the body snatcher, we don't, we don't need the body snatcher in our hand. Um, they're hesitating, which makes me think they have a force and that they are not sure how this combo works. <laughs> So they are like considering forcing this just because it's weird. Okay. Uh, so it's in play. So we discard Protein Hulk. Uh, let's pass. They, of course, just need to hit like their mentors in six turns I don't think we're ever winning now because unless the body snatcher just takes it all the way because um, we're not going to be able to keep up with their card draw so they'll always be sort of ahead of us on uh on uh, counter spells. And they're just cycling with the card quality here. Another protein hulk, wow. So I guess we just, we just go for them. I don't think we are gonna be successful in either endeavor, but I don't think like beating like we're never, we're not going to be able to kill Dak anyways. I would assume we certainly aren't going to be able to do both. So okay, so they steal my box sapphire. That seems somewhat irrelevant but I guess it means we're like a mana further away from being able to hard cast force of will but that's not gonna really swing anyways okay Let's attack them again. And I think we play out this land because even though that means we let them know that we don't have, uh, they, they know our hand then, it still means if we draw another land, we can hard cast force as well. Okay. So here we go. Now they're playing something. Brainstorm, okay. Man, it's too bad. It's, it's always interesting to trace back like how things went pear shaped for you. Hmm. Like there was like a critical turn in this game and it was probably that they were able to pyroblast the dig through time and then whoa, whoa speaking of which like as soon as they find another mentor it is basically over and 
they are going to find another mentor with this DAC and the, this library, so it is basically over. <laughs> but yeah, regardless, I'm just going to wait until that happens. But like, as you can see, even let's say we had drawn a Flusterstorm and another pitch counter, like another pitch cart, the Force of Will, and then we now drew like Flash, I would still pretty much just assume that I wouldn't be able to cast it because they have a full grip and have just like okay they bounce the body snatcher sure what do we draw we draw fluster storm they still have the mind break trap remember so we're gonna cast this bad boy again and just discard uh, the protein elk What, they force this? Why? Why not just keep bouncing it while you find win conditions with uh, DAC? We care about this? I guess we allow this to happen. Even though that, like, it's tempting to, to force back. This means if we were to draw like blue card flash, then we would actually be in the position I was just talking about, which is not like impossibly impossible, if that makes sense, especially since they just forced pitching force. But they likely have like multiple blasts and or pyroblast effects, plus they still have that mind break trap. Uh, sure, time walk. I guess we could also just like draw Lotus hard cast <laughs> protein hulk. But that doesn't really do anything. They're they're going to want to kill us kinda soon because they're running out of cards in the library. But I mean there's still a while yet. They have 16 cards. Yep, 15, I guess. So, how much counter magic is gone out of their deck now? One mental mista, one pyroblasts, one force, one fluster, and another force. So, two force, a misstep, a pyroblast, and a fluster storm. I would assume there were still like two fluster storms left. Obviously, two force of wills. Man, like two to three mental missteps. They are just preferring to sit there, have a merry old time, discarding the hand size. Oh, there is a fast pond. Didn't think they were, would be playing that. Discarding a misstep, even. Well, now we have a card to pitch the force, so let's just... The problem is... That if we were to go flash, they force, we force back, they fluster, we fluster, then we've cast three spells so they can mind break trap us. Looks like there's a mentor coming. Do we, if we force this, then they force back or pyroblast it. And we fluster that storm one, two, three, four. So they still have one, two, three, four, five, six mana to pay. Yeah, I guess I force this. I mean, it's pretty much the game if we don't. And if not, like, it'll draw out some counter magic out of their hand. And maybe if we were like top deck uh, flash, we could win. Sorry, I'm, I'm not gonna. What? Oh, he targeted his own mentor with the power blast. That's hilarious. And 
Either that was an accident, or maybe this person is just so eager to keep playing with their enormous advantage that uh, <laughs> they, they did that on purpose. <clears throat> okay, now we're being fate sealed, because that's a thing. And the card gets topped. It's probably a land. Sure, keep drawing. Oh, preordain. Do I actually get to preordain here? Why would you top that? Mental mist up. Storm count is two, so it'll be three. They can just pay. Sure, okay. <clears throat> wonder how many uh, mentors they have. <clears throat> Okay, so they're going to be able, or they're going to go with the Fate Seal on us. So what I would actually consider doing right now is just not playing out any more cards. Getting up to a seven card hand, so that when they ultimate Jace, I'll have a seven card library and they'll, they'll be bigger than their library. Okay. I mean, if they don't have that second, oh, that, sorry, that third mentor, I... I think they're, they might run out of cards here, but I'm, like, I could be wrong. They could have some trump, some trump that I'm not aware of. Okay, white mana, so I guess they had the mentor. Yeah, all right, so that will end the game. Not until next turn, but by then it will end the game. What did they do with the chase before? Oh, they've discarded their mind break trap. Cool. They topped. Okay, so they recall themselves. I'm not gonna do anything because. Well, I mean, they have Lotus is one. Recall is two, the mentor is three, so storm is three. Okay, I think the only way we are, well, I think it's pretty clear that the only way we're winning this match is if they make a mistake and, uh, and draw themselves. I'm not, I don't think they have a way to get this time walk to have flashback. They could have, oh yeah, they could have like Snapcaster Mage. But if that's the case, then, okay, no, never mind. Oh, and there's a misstep, so, yeah, well, let's just pass and make them trigger their guys once. Maybe it'll be like with Treasure Cruise, and then a Gitaxian Probe, and then they'll lose. Or they activate both their planeswalkers by mistake and then <laughs> lose. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Okay. Draw three. Zero cards left. I guess they sh they needed to have activated the planeswalkers in like different in a different order. Well. That is it. We we lose here, but uh, let's see if they do anything else. Maybe they just want to have the satisfaction of winning with zero cards in their library. Oh, they're forcing it. It's true, but um, don't they have like enough? Three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Yeah. Okay. Now they have enough. <sighs> yeah, all right. So they got there. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Um, 
I kind of feel bad that I didn't wasn't able to put up much like more of a fight in the last game, but uh, so be it. My winning streak against Mentor is over, but uh, yeah, uh, still cool, cool vintage action here. So hope to see you around for some more of that. Uh, thank you and bye bye.